here with Nittany Lion basketball assistant coach Lewis Preston. Coach, tomorrow night, the season opener, Lehigh coming to town, defending Patriot League champions. Talk a little bit about their key personnel, starting with uh, C.J. McCollum, reigning uh, player of the year. You know, uh, C.J. McCollum is, you know, very rarely do you have a freshman who comes in, and not only is he player of the year at a conference, but also freshman of the year, averaging about 19 points. What was the most impressive thing about him statistically from last year is he uh, shot 42% from three-point range. With the volume of shots that he put up, he is a very capable scorer. Deep three-point range, uh, he can take and, uh, you know, push it off with the dribble, pull-up jump shot, a variety of ways to score. So we got to make sure that all of his shots that he takes, and he averages anywhere from 22 to 27 shots a game, is that we make sure that uh, every shot is contested and challenged and making sure that for the number of shots he puts up that maybe we can keep him in the sing single digits for makes and he will make some bad shots. But outside of him, they also have an inside guy by the name of Gabe Knudsen, uh, 6'9", lefty, very capable post player, up and unders, does a variety of different things. So we got to make sure that we keep our bodies in front of him, do some different things uh, defensively against him, and uh, make sure that we contain everybody else. Michael Ojo came off the bench last year. They're sort of their sixth man. Expect him to be in the starting lineup tomorrow night. What type of player is he? Uh, uh, you know, athletic uh, player, really gets out in transition, will take open shots as needed, kind of a dirty work guy for them. Uh, you know, I mean, here's a team that went to the NCAA tournament last year, and these guys, are all they all have experience, you know, won 22 games overall last year. So I think that's going to be a great challenge for us. How much of an emphasis is there on slowing down McCollum versus the other guys in the game plan? You know what? Uh, you you got to pay specific attention to McCollum just because of the, the quality and, and talent of a player that he is. But also, we can't forget about the other guys, you know, between Knudsen, Ojo. Uh, they got a freshman point guard in Mackie McKnight. Uh, who might start tomorrow night. So, you know, we got to make sure that we can on other guys. And getting back in defense transition-wise is going to be very important for us. And then also containing the ball and making sure that they, uh, every shot that they got to work for. Coach DeCellis has talked all week about offensive flow. What do you need to do differently than you did on Sunday? Uh, you know what? I don't think we can be stagnant. I think we got to pass, we got to move, we got to cut. Uh, we got to make easy decisions with the basketball, and then I think one of the things we can't have careless turnovers like we had uh, in Sunday against East Stroudsburg. We got to take and take care of the ball, make the easy play, keep it simple, kind of like vanilla ice cream, plain and simple. Tomorrow night, give me a couple keys to what you'd like to accomplish. Uh, defensively, getting back in transition defense, uh, making sure that, uh, you know, that these guys have to earn every single point that they get. I think the second thing for us is, is making sure that we contain the basketball. Uh, you know, one of the things is, you know, guys are kind of loading up and taking us off the dribble a little bit too much right now. Offensively, once again, cutting down on the number of turnovers, being able to pass, cut, move, have a good offensive flow, you know, work the ball inside out. I think the second thing is, is for us to get on the offensive glass. I'm going to be curious to see how Jeff, DJ, and Drew uh, do that and kind of set the tone for us. When they are active on the offensive glass, how much more dangerous do you feel like you are? You know what, I think it gives us more opportunities. Anytime you have more opportunities offensively, it usually gives you a greater percentage uh, of a chance to score and more importantly gives you a better chance to win overall. A team coming off an NCAA tournament appearance, like you mentioned, are you happy with, with the fact that they're the, f the first game on the schedule? Uh, very much so, because you got to get a chance to see where you're at uh, both offensively and defensively and as a team and you know to help camaraderie wise and I think for them I think they're coming in here uh, probably with a lot of confidence and thinking that they can get the victory tomorrow night. How eager is the group to finally get going playing a team under the lights, uh, the, the arena lights for the first time this year? Well, you know, I think Sunday was kind of a dress rehearsal a little bit with East Stroudsburg, so we hopefully we got the jitters out. I think more importantly for us is uh, we just got to come out and play our game. I mean, guys are going to be excited. You know, the freshmen, you know, that was a great thing about the second exhibition on Sunday. Tomorrow night, we just got to come out and do what we do best, and that's just keep the game simple, make the right simple play, and then take advantage of opportunities when we have them. Coach, best of luck tomorrow night. Thank you.